it was good. I just want to give you guys a last podcast up on uh, the Washington Wizards. I made a video a couple of months ago about the Washington Wizards that they are seeing a potential because Bradley Bill and John Wall was like the future, but then they surround them with Paul Pierce, Martian Gortai, and Nene, who are older, but John Wall and them below 25. So it's hard to see this team get any better because of the age of the players they gave the deals to. So they're going to have to replace Nene eventually. And Gortat signed a five-year deal. But we still got to figure out how this team going to compete for a championship. And I still don't think the Washington Wizards are there yet. I know Paul Pierce is only there for two years. They probably going to put Otto Porter Jr. But Otto Porter Jr. has been inconsistent. His defense has been great, especially against DeMar DeRozan. He really had played very, very good defense against DeMar DeRozan and really shut him down for a couple games and made him shoot tough shots. So I think defensively, Otto Porter Jr. is good. He was drafted for his two-way play, and he really showed he can play defense, especially against a superstar, well, an all-star in DeMar DeRozan. And he, he showed that in his potential right there in that, in, in that playoff series. But his shooting has really been a problem. He was a decent shooter in college, but he really been inconsistent in the NBA. And eventually, they're going to have to give him a whole lot of minutes like they did in the beginning of the year for him to get the growing pains and the experience. You know, like that's why they brought in Paul Pierce and Trevor Reza because he wasn't ready. And now they're going to have to eventually pass the torch to Otto Porter Jr. as the next perimeter player for Bradley Bill and John Wall for them to step up because he's part of the future. They're going to eventually start to give Otto Porter Jr. a lot more minutes so he can grow into the player they need him to be. So they need him to be on the court. They need him to do it in practice, but they also need him to do it on the court. So they're going to probably, like, after Paul Pierce leaves or whatever he's going to do two years the next year, they need to let Otto Porter come in there and just grow with them. He's going to have some bad games. He's going to have some excellent games. But it's time for him to start getting a whole lot of minutes and realize his potential and grow into the player he needs to be. And the same thing goes for Bradley Bill. He really been inconsistent. He's not an all-star player still. And that's crazy because he's been in the league for a couple years now. And he's still are just a role, uh, glorified role player to me. He really hasn't reached his full potential yet. But in the playoffs, he really stepped up. His first game wasn't that good. But ever since then, he, he took it to another level shooting-wise. I think Bradley Bill still could be an all-star because Kyle Korver was an all-star this year. Jeff Teague was an all-star this year. If them type of players can be an all-star, Bradley Bill can play on, a type of, on that type of level too. He can easily put up 18 points a game with like four, four rebounds, four assists on a playoff team. He can be an all-star player. But he just been he wasn't healthy this year, and he's been really streaky. He's been off and on. And that's one thing he's going to have to work on if you want to be an all-star. he got to work on his consistency. If you want to take his game to a whole nother level and be a dominant player in the league, he got to work on his consistency on his jump shot and, most importantly, his shot selection. His shot selection is off and on. And if you want to be an all-star in his league, you're going to have to be consistent for a whole three months. Then he can be an all-star. But if you want to be an all-NBA player, Bradley Bill has a whole lot of stuff to work on. Like, the thing that's going to put the Washington Wizards into a championship contender is a bench in the play of Otto Porter Jr., Bill, and John Wall. John Wall already a two-time All-Star, so he don't have nothing to prove. But he's still, like I made in the breakdown, John Wall is still young, and he's still got a lot to grow. His turnovers have been ridiculous this year, but he's fixed that in the playoffs. He really been patient. He been attacking the paint, kicking it out, uh, probing in the defense, finding the open shooters, finding in Gortat for some easy plays, paying the top of the defense, ex passing everywhere. His passing has been excellent in the playoffs. But now they got to go against the Atlanta Hawks, who are better defensively, or help the Atlanta Hawks are a different team that's better than the Toronto Raptors. The Toronto Raptors were horrible defensively, and the Washington Wizards made them pay offensively like the Washington Wizards is one of the worst offensive teams in the league that's how bad the Toronto Raptors defense was I think they was 24th in defensive uh, offensive efficiency in the whole NBA for the whole season for the whole season they was one of the worst offensive teams in the league 
They went against the Toronto Raptors, especially that last game, and shot over 50%. That's how bad that defense was. They was late on rotations. They were letting the Washington Wizards break them down defensively. They would let them get to the, the paint anytime they wanted to. John Wall was getting to the paint almost every time he wanted to. They couldn't guard John Wall one-on-one. He was finding open shooters, finding open layups and dunks for Gore Todd and Nene. So John Wall really picked apart their defense. Same did Bradley Beal. But for this team to really take it to a whole nother level, instead of being a second round exit and being a championship team, Bradley Beal is going to have to take his game to a whole nother level offensively and defensively and consistently. John Wall got to work on his decision making and his turnovers and his shot. His shot has come a long way, but he really got to work on his three point shot. That's the biggest hole in this game because they're going to play off of him. The good team is going to play off of him. But I like that John Wall is not scared to take the shot. He might can't shoot that good, but he still got the confidence to take the shot and he still can knock it down. When he got the, He's not scared to not throw up the jumper. They leave him open, he's going to shoot it. He got confident in his ability. John Wall just needs consistency in the shooting. Them all, and he takes a lot of off-balance jump shots late in the shot clock. If you're going to dribble, dribble, find a shot, Dribble, step back, and just shoot a spot up. Don't fall off balance. Don't lean to the side like he do. He'll lean to the side. He'll jump far back. Don't do all that. Do not do all that, John Wall. That's going to make it harder for you to score. You're making it tougher for you to knock down a jump shot because you made the jump shot more difficult than it had to be. So if this team, they already a, a almost a 50-win team the last two years. If this team wants to take it to a championship level, which they're capable of, Otto Porter Jr. going to have to get more minutes. And get, that Randy Whitman, the biggest problem I have with him right now is the development of the young players. I don't feel like Bradley Bill has gotten that much better these last couple years. I don't feel like Otto Porter has stepped his game up to the level he needs to be. I don't feel like John Wall, he was an all-star for two years in a row. But... I still think John Wall has a whole lot to get. Like, he a top five point guard because he can pass and he can score, but he's still got a lot of developing to go. I think Randy Whitman has to develop these players. If they want to turn into a championship contender, they going to need a lot more out of they, they, they three, which is Otto, Bradley Bill, and John Wall if they want to go for the Eastern Conference Finals which they might do this year, but they want to win 50 games and be on top of the East when Cleveland and Chicago and Atlanta is where they at. They right up there, but they still need the development of these players to go quicker than it has. Like I said, I don't feel like Bradley Bill has got that much better. He stepped up last year in the playoffs, so putting up 20 points a lot of games last year in the playoffs. I just don't feel like Bradley Bill has taken his level to an all-star play yet. I don't feel like he's on that all-star level. And I think Bradley Bill can be an all-NBA player, but he has to work harder, even harder than he has to work now. And same with Otto Porter Jr. He needs more minutes, and he needs growing pains, and he needs a coach that's going to let him work through his struggle and his inconsistencies just to make him a better player. And Washington, they're a special team. They got a decent bench. They got a decent front line. They just need more out of Bradley Bill, Otto Porter and John Wall. Paul Pierce has done his job. He been clutch even in the regular season and he was clutch in the playoffs. He really has took his level to another to another level in the playoffs. So Paul Pierce done his job in his, in his first year already being a mentor, making him more mature. He helped him close out the game. He helped him when Toronto came back in game three, he put the daggers in the Toronto Raptors' hearts with clutch plays. So Paul Pierce has done his job. Now he needs to help Otto Porter Jr. get better consistently and offensively to take his game to the next level so he can pass the torch to him. So I think the Washington Wizards, they have a higher ceiling, and they still haven't reached it. They've been like this for two years. They haven't reached their full potential yet. And I wonder if they ever going to do it because Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan, they are both all-star players and they haven't, they did not play like that in the playoffs. They did not carry their team to the second round in two straight years. Last year, they got beaten seven. This year, they got, they even win one game. Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan are both all-stars and they did not carry their team to where they need to be. So they was overrated in that regard. Comment, like, subscribe, and share.